I'm gonna show you the technique on how you can achieve this type of design for your Swiss posters. So anytime we're directly tracing over an existing object, I recommend lowering the opacity first. So we're gonna lower the opacity down to 50% and then I'm gonna lock the layer. That way I can click and drag over this all I want and I'm not gonna move it. All right, so let's hit L on our keyboard. That's gonna bring up our ellipse tool. And if you don't have smart guides enabled, make sure you go up to view and smart guides. Now we're gonna go right here to the center and then I'm gonna hold down option or alt on my keyboard and shift. And we're just gonna drag a circle out just like that. And since the top portion of this circle is missing, we're gonna grab the direct select tool by hitting A on our keyboard. And then I'm just gonna click and drag over this anchor point right here. And then we could just hit delete on our keyboard. All right, now I'm gonna bring up the ellipse tool again, and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna drag to the inner part of that circle there. And I'm gonna swap the fill in the stroke by hitting Shift X on my keyboard. And now with this circle still selected, I'm gonna hit Copy and Paste in front. Now I'm gonna hold down Option or Alt and Shift and bring it up to right there. Okay, now we're gonna grab our pen tool and I'm gonna draw a line right here. It doesn't matter that we've gone outside of that circle. All right, I think you're gonna like this next part. So we're gonna grab this line right here. We're gonna hit R on our keyboard. And I'm gonna hold down Option or Alt and we're gonna drag this little crosshair right down to where it says center and then release the mouse. And right here where the angle is, we're gonna type in 90 degrees. And you can see it moved it from here to here. And now we're just gonna hit copy and then I'm gonna hit command or control D on my keyboard. And now we have those lines exactly where we need them. Okay, now I'm gonna grab these two circles right here and we're gonna hit shift X to swap the fill and the stroke. And now go over here to our Pathfinder tool and click on minus front. Okay, for this next part, we need to make sure that the inner circle is brought to the front. So let's go ahead and select it. Go up here to object, arrange, and bring to front. And now we're gonna select both of these. We're gonna hit shift X on our keyboard to swap the fill in the stroke. And now we're gonna click on minus front. So that's gonna knock out that inner circle and now we're left just with this ring. Okay, now we need to select everything here and then deselect this inner half circle. All right, now we're gonna go back to our Pathfinder panel and click on divide. And so that divides up the shape based on the lines we created earlier where they overlap on the circle. All right, so temporarily, I'm just gonna move this off of here so that we can get an exact shape of this circle right here. And now I'm gonna move this back right where it was before. And now let's go up here to object, unlock all, and let's just move this artwork off of the artboard. And we'll bring up the opacity to 100%. Okay, so now with our direct select tool, I'm gonna grab this portion of the circle and color drop on this part of the circle over here. And again, with the direct select tool, I'm gonna grab this section and this section here and color drop on the orange. And now we need to duplicate this bottom part of this half circle by holding down option or alt and shift and then click and drag it up. This will make a copy of the element. And now with this selected, we just hold down shift and rotate this around and then color drop for the same color right here. So now you know the technique to create shapes like this for your Swiss design posters. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.